Hello guys, this is Anthony coming to you live from the solar shed right now. Well, it's about, uh, what, 8.30, actually 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time on a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. Well, I've been making great progress in my solar shed and um, the last video I uploaded, I showed you my brand new battery box, which will be the retainer or the container of all my solar batteries. Well, I did mention that I have some more batteries coming. And um, last night, I spent quite a bit of time getting these batteries wired up. So guys, I want you to be the first to see it on the internet. And um, all my YouTube viewers and subscribers, I want to thank you for your support and uh, encourage you to subscribe as I have a lot of things I have planned um, to do and uh, would love to share them with you. So, um, the battery box, I've made a little bit of improvements um, here and there. I added a chain here, I added a latch or a handle where you can easily open it like that. I put a chain on it and uh, what this chain is going to do, I'm going to attach this chain right here to keep it open whenever I open the battery box. So this is how it works guys, I pretty much just pull the chain up and uh, attach the chain over here. Let me try and do it, alright, so there we go, so that's my battery box. And lo and behold guys, the new batteries, yay, I'm very excited, I'm very excited about this. I still retain my 24 volt um, system. And uh, it's kind of interesting, but now I have like 24 batteries in this box right now. And uh, um, they're wired in series parallel. So yeah, it's pretty neat, pretty neat, pretty neat. I love it. 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 I give God all the thanks um, for all his blessings. So here we go, guys. Uh, we're in um, series parallel. 24 volt system, 24 volt batteries. I also installed a little circuit breaker that I bought from an online store. Um, it actually takes the place of an inline fuse and um, it has a 100 amp capability. So if my inverter um, should draw above 100 amps, then this breaker will trip. And you can also test it by just pressing this button right there. Boom! The breaker is now open, so no electricity will flow to my inverter. So very neat. It takes the place of an inline fuse. But I didn't just um, trust that little breaker to trip. I also have a 100 amp inline fuse right there on the positive lead. And um, this is a positive lead of the cable that um, goes back to the positive lead on the inverter and um, the negative is here so yeah it's it's pretty neat guys I'm, I'm very happy about this and uh, my box is actually holding the temperature very well um, the highest it gets in this box is about 85 degrees Fahrenheit even when it's like a hundred in the shed so I just always keep this little um, thermometer in my, in my box just so I can monitor the temperature just to see how hot it gets in the box. Well, yes, guys, um, I'm very happy about what I have right now. And um, this, in that the batteries are wired in um, series parallel, it being a 24 volt system, I have like 384 amp power right now. So, yes, so yes, it's pretty neat. And uh, I tested out my inverter earlier and um, everything is going well. Just looking at the temperature, actually, not the temperature, but the voltage right now inside the battery bank, it's 26.2 volts right now. And um, the sun is coming out. It's a little bit overcast on the outside, but the sun is just kind of just um, looking through the clouds right now. So eventually this should actually um, be higher. But yes, for right now, the batteries are charged and everything is looking very well so guys I wanted to show you my battery bank as I promised and um, just showed you 
what I've done. So feel free to comment, subscribe. And um, if you have any questions, I would love to answer. And also, you're welcome to share my videos as well. So, Anthony, coming to you live from the Solar Shed. Have a great day. And thanks for watching, guys.